Hello darlings, it's Brandy here. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you're another YouTuber, let me know down in the comments and I will sub you back. Now stay safe, get your vaccine, and here's the video. Hello darlings, it's Brandy here. Today I am using the Burano Deluxe kit from Amazon and it comes with everything you see on the left. The link for this will always be in my description box because I will be using the lamp. And of course, it, you know, it came with this set. So it's $59.99, but it literally has everything. You know, cuticle oil, you get a large base coat in addition to poly gel solution, slip solution, um, to cuticle oil, two different sets of nail tips, regular press on nail tips, and then also dual forms. Um, for this set, I actually used the regular press on nails. So you'll see what I got popping in a quick second. You know what that means, shameless promotion time. Um, I'm gonna take a step back real quick. Here are some oldies but goodies. A lot of it is our most popular items with the nail tips and the designer stickers. The nail piercing kit is a huge one as well. And I did use this in the video. Well, I used it on the nails, but I didn't film it because the video was getting so long. But if you have any questions about it, I have a whole video on how to use the nail piercing kit. So the link to my website as well as the link to the Amazon Verano kit will be in my description box all the time because, of course, if I don't self-promote, who is going to sell my stuff, right? So come and check it out. Place an order or two. You know, make your girl happy. <laughs> now let's get into this video. <laughs> all right, so I am using the Slip Solution because that is my personal preference. Using the base coat is okay, but I'm just happier using a slip solution. I don't know. It's what I like. It's what I like to work with. So, oh, and that little container does come in the kit as well. It's not just something that I got off AliExpress, which I do have one, but, you know. I selected number three, four, six, seven, and ten. They are all peachy, pinky, purplishy. Um, I could not decide, so I just picked them all. Because bitch gotta have it all, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna speed this up quite a bit. I mean, you watch the swatching videos, so you do know what they look like. Um, but I'm gonna get into what exactly made me do this set, because it's not really something I would normally do. Um, just because, you know, family friendly, family friendly, family friendly. Um, but at this point, if the video gets demonetized or whatever, I don't even care at this point. Um, my creativity needed to be set free, y'all, free! <laughs> okay, right, so y'all know I love my female rappers, and there is this very young girl... A lot of them are young. I mean, you know, whatever. She's like an adult, like 21. She's not like a little kid. But um, to me, she seems like a kid. But anyways, she is the cutest little patootie I have ever seen. She is actually an, an, adult, an, an adult entertainer. She was a dancer for a while. Um, she has an OnlyFans and she puts out music. And I guess she was putting out music on TikTok like right before it blew up. So she has like millions of followers and stuff. Um, but she did a video called Slut and it was so cute. It was like a little cheerleading video or whatever. Um, but I just thought, you know, why not do this? And it's, it's a little bit of an older song, but whatever. I like it, you know, so. Now this first pick is from the video. You know, I don't want no copyright whatever going on. So, and this is something from her Instagram. See, isn't she just a little cutie? Um, but she actually has tattoos on her face now, and I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, whatever. I'm just, I personally don't like it. Um, so I don't know. But it, it hasn't turned me off to her music or anything. She is a lesbian, which, you know, we just had our Pride Month and everything. And honestly, I think the reason that I like her so much is she reminds me of my youngest 
sister from my mother, um, just because various reasons, but that's, I think, what made me stop and listen to her music, and it's, it's catchy, and it's boppy, and, you know, she talks about what all female rappers talk about, you know, money and sex, and, you know, they're, they're private, so... I like it. I enjoy it because y'all know, like I said, I love my female rappers. I love to support them and it doesn't matter what their sexuality or what, any of that stuff don't matter to me. As long as you got talent and you're putting it out there, then yeah, I'm for it. I will leave the link to her video in the description box as well if you want to check it out. But you know, beware female rapper. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> now this poly gel self levels so nicely like even if you're looking at it and it looks like a bumpy hot mess when you put it aside and let it actually self level for a couple minutes it's like night and day and you can still fiddle with it after it self levels if there are still like unpleasing aspects to it because you want to file as little as possible in general but especially with an overlay because you don't want to risk getting your natural nail, you know, buffing down to it. But since this is an overlay on press-ons, not that big of a deal. But, you know, overlay on your natural nail, a little bit different. So, just keep that in mind. I do also have those um, Russian almond dual forms. You know, the ones that just look so spectacular. So, I will be playing with those as well with this kit. And we'll see what comes popping, right? So, that's in the future. I have a few more videos already planned, so... There's so many ideas and so little time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've been a bit distracted. I haven't been able to get into my pool for like a week, and it's driving me nuts. It's just like downpour raining, no sun, nothing. So the pool's just getting colder and colder because there's no UV rays you know, to go into the solar blank, it's not a solar blanket, but solar cover to make the warm water warmer. And after the hurricane, there was absolutely no chlorine or anything in the water. So I had to like refill all that. And there was all sorts of stuff in the pool. I actually have to break out my, my vacuum cleaner for the pool. I know that sounds crazy, but they do have them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how to work it. I think it's kind of a two-person operation at the very beginning. So we're going to see how it goes. But basically, I'm going to have to get in the pool to use the pool vacuum because the handle is just not quite long enough to do it from the outside, which, I mean, is not a big deal. I just, it's something that I've never done, so I'm a little nervous about it. <laughs> Ooh, I like that pink. I like all the pinks. I, I couldn't pick, but, you know, everyone I see, I'm like, oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> They're all my favorites. <laughs> I did want to say with the ring finger, I used a lot of slip solution to kind of drag the brush down the, the nail to even out some of the bumpiness, but I left too much of the slip solution on the actual poly gel itself before it went into the lamp so there were a few like holes or divots in there because that's where the excess slip solution was and of course you know there was nothing there so it dried as a whole and I was hoping to get rid of it with filing but there still were a couple little spots that I was not really happy about but not a big deal I know that it has happened to me before so I just wanted to point that out because sometimes, you know, I do forget, but I really thought the filing would handle it, but it was deeper. They were deeper than I thought. So I did, of course, hand file it because I wanted to use everything from the kit as much as possible, especially with using the poly gel and everything. So I didn't leave much of the filing in. I basically left the thumbnail and that's it because, I mean, it's not like I was teaching anything new and it gets boring and the video gets long. So I sped it up and pretty much what most of this, the speed of this video has been because I was just moving slowly, I guess, when I filmed it. It was a lot of stuff I needed to cut out. <laughs> 
Well, I know y'all know how it is. Like, sometimes you should have stopped recording and you didn't. I mean, I'm just lucky that I didn't do it the other way where I needed to be recording and I wasn't. So, you know, I've done both. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> If you are still watching this video, hit that like button, let your girl know you are here, leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. You, if you don't hit the bell, you will miss a lot of my future uploads because that's just how YouTube works. So I wanted you to just have a look. They're all filed. They still need to be wiped down with an alcohol wipe. I am using the Burano liner brush that I got with their with their blooming gel. Now I had to um, wipe these off and I know that my free hand is so garbage. It takes me so long. So I sped it up even faster just to try to get through it, at least this part, because you know, it's painful to watch. I wanted to do some sort of, you know, I don't know, like I didn't want to do regular graffiti bubble uh, bubble letters and stuff like that. I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I just put arrows on the end, like arrowheads <laughs> on the ends of whatever. Um, it was in a manga that I saw, like this chick's attack power was vectors, and she just had these like arrow things that would at attack people from the shadows. Anyways, that's where I got the idea from. <laughs> So even simple letters like this give me a hard time. <laughs> but, you know, if you work slowly and you focus on what you're doing, you can usually salvage it if something goes wrong. But, I mean, it's just gel polish. As long as you haven't cured it yet, you don't have to worry about whatever mistakes. You could just wipe it clean and start over again. <laughs> Now see here, I didn't like how that like the arrows were not as defined as I wanted them to be. So I took a step back after doing the L. Now the U is the one that is on the nail that had these spots. And you can see the little white spots if you look closely. I don't know why I'm messing with that one again. I don't know. I must have looked back at it and been like, that doesn't look good, <laughs> and went back to it without thinking. I try to keep the nails, you know, sort of separate, but this time I'm bopping around all over the place. But I was thinking, I think, that it didn't really look like an S, it just kind of looked like a squiggle. But wh whatever, whatever. It, it, it looked good in the final cut, so I'm happy with it, and... Once it's top coated, you can't really notice the spots on this nail so much. And it's the only nail that had that problem. So, you know, like I said earlier, usually you can just file or buff it out and it's fine. But these went a little deeper than I was expecting. So, don't worry, you'll be distracted because you know I'm putting some of that disco polish on there. Because it's straight fire! <laughs> Oh, I would like to remind you that Miss Just Joe Nail Addict, I put the miss in front, it's Just Joe Nail Addict, she is getting closer and closer to her monetization, so if you guys could go and show her some love, put her through overnight on a watch time kind of thing, get her a few hours, um, you know, just to help out another nail sister. She has been very, very good to me. <laughs> we were very close. Um, we kind of have separated a little bit, but of course I am going to show her as much love as possible um, going through with the watch time. So if anybody else would help out, that would be amazing. I will leave her link down below as well. All right, we are about to get into disco polish outlines. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people using the disco polish in the swirl manis, but I'm, I'm not really feeling the swirl manis right now. I don't, I don't know. Um, personal preference, personal preference. I know that they're popping. They're all over Instagram right now. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm going a different way. I don't know. I just don't. I'm not into it. I'm not into it at the moment. <laughs> now with this, the outline, I did it once on camera 
but watching it, I realized that it wasn't really popping the way that I'd like it. So after I was done filming, I actually put another layer on and that really sealed the deal and made it pop. So I think also with it, it's a mix of pink and purple. And I feel like the pink might have been getting washed out because of the pink background. I'm not sure. It could be a little of column A, a little of column B. But the extra coat really, you know, made it pop. I'm not sure how much Burano is going to like this set of nails, but <laughs> this was the perfect time to do it. And I do have to say, like poly gel, hard gel, acrylic, they give their own finishing look that you can't necessarily get with just gel polish alone. Most of the time I can tell what type of nail it is just by looking at it. You know, sometimes poly gel and hard gel are a little hard to tell apart, but most people that I've seen, it's hard gel and not poly gel. But poly gel does give that same finished look that is just beautiful. Um, I tried to start this channel with the idea that anything you can do on other nail extensions, you can do on press-ons as well. That means applying acrylic, applying hard gel, trying to mimic the looks that acrylic or hard gel give. You know, like um, those jewel tone looks or... I tried to do these in poly gel a little while back and it was kind of a fail um, because it's hard to get... It was hard to get the actual glitter and mylar and stuff to get inside of the poly gel without there being a ton of bubbles and everything. So I'm still gonna go back and try it again. You know, it's been in the back of my brain and everything. Um, but yeah, that was the basis of my channel. Everything press on. And of course I've learned how to do nail extensions, um, all different ways. I, I don't really use forms yet because I'm not doing it on my own hands. And I've seen how much trouble people have had with their flexi hand or flexi finger, whatever you want to call it, trying to make the actual forms stay on there. So anyways, this is the finished look. I think it came out really cute. I did add the purple rings from our nail piercing kit just to kind of, you know, tie it all together. I felt like the thumb was a little lonely. This is everything that I used in the kit, at least so far. And yes, I did buff and file and put base coat on. I just didn't want to have the video be super, super long. And I filmed it as a reel to start, so it was just not looking great. So I just cut all that out. But I am very, very happy with this kit. Now it's $59.99, and I do have an unboxing of it. If you would like to see it this is what the lamp looks like it has a little phone holder so that's cool and a handle to move it around and like I said the link for this will be always in my description box at least as long as I use the lamp it will be um, don't forget to like share subscribe all that YouTube stuff and that's about it thanks so much for watching have a marvelous day and thanks again Mwah.